I'm Stephanie. And I'm L'Oreal. And, and we, we are Happily, Happily Ever Elementary. So all this week at our school, we have been having interviews for some open positions going into our next school year. And it really brought up some old memories from when we got to interview for the positions we have now. So today we put together our top five interview tips that we use to grab our dream jobs and what we're seeing people who are getting the jobs at our school using today. So tip number one, uh, dress to impress. So though a lot of principals don't really care on the day-to-day -day what you're wearing and that's not their first priority when it comes to picking a staff, it really does make a difference when you are having a first impression with someone. So we wouldn't recommend going in with um, three-day hair unless it's full of dry shampoo and teas to the nines because some people might look at you and think that you don't care about your appearance, especially during an interview, and that's really not what you want to tell um, new administration. You want them to know, I woke up early for this, I've had my coffee, I put it on my nicest blouse, I want you to know how much I care about this position because I want to work at your school so badly. That's what your appearance says. It's not about, well, I want them to hire me because I look pretty today. It's more of um, a matter of, I care, I made a choice this morning to look my best for you. Number two is do your research. Before you take any job, you should always research what you're getting yourself into. Every school should have a website. You should go on that school's website, look at their mission statement, look at pictures, look at things what they stand for, things that you think that you could fit in, and make sure that you're not only researching the school, but also researching just typical interview questions. I mean, if you're interviewing for a school, you're probably going to have a question on assessments. You're probably going to have a question on differentiation and, you know, other things about the day-to-day. -day. So do your research and prepare yourself. Write out some typical answers. You know you're always going to be asked about your strength. Prepare an answer for your weakness just in case because we all know that's one of the hardest questions people can ask because no one wants to show how they're not sufficient for the job. But make sure you go in with your research. We had a couple people come in and took a look at our website and didn't know what Ron Clark was. And although we're a Ron Clark school, they were asking questions and trying to bring it into their interview just to show that they went to our website, they know we're Ron Clark, they're ready to learn, they're interested about it. And that was things that stood out to us. Number three, not only should you be prepared by having your research done, but you should have a list of questions, at least three. Okay, so what basically the questions you should have should again show that you care, but also show the school that you're serious about the programs and the staff and the decisions that they're making because it shows them that you are a adequate teacher. So it's questions about um, how the staff is getting on or how do they collaborate or what programs they use um, or even what kind of teachers they're looking to hire are really, really excellent questions. It shows the principal that you're not just showing up and saying, hey, you know what, if I get it, I get it. Instead, it, you're looking at it, if I get this job, these are questions I want to know moving forward for my new staff, right? So basically the questions just show again how much you care and a level of initiative. Tip number four is be personable. By the end of our interview week, we had seen so many different teachers come through and they're all basically saying the textbook answer that every principal and staff wants to hear. They're hitting all the buzzwords and they're saying everything that they should. And by the end of it, it just sounds the same each person who comes through and you're not truly listening to what they're saying anymore. You're really just looking at them and you're thinking, what is it like for them to be teaching kids? And I wonder if they're getting the excitement and if you're not focusing on your delivery and your smile and your engagement with the peers in the room, then you're going to lose the, the, the board who is interviewing you. You have to engage them just like you would engage with your students. You have to put that smile on. I talk with my hands. You have to really make sure that you're keeping them engaged during your questions because they are listening to you and they're taking notes on what you're saying, but they're remembering more the personality that you brought in and who you were as a person and your passion. You have to let that passion flow through your questions. And even though you're talking about assessment and data and it could sound kind of dry, you're making it sound like the most exciting topic that they could ever think of. So really bringing in your personality, and we know you're nervous and it's hard to get that to come through, but just smiling through your questions really makes a difference. Tip number 
number five is basically about leaving something with the principal or with the uh, group that is interviewing you because you might only have a 15 minute interview and that flies by and you want it to be memorable. So the things that you leave with them can really help your impression to last a lot longer. So things you could leave are really good evals, um, letters of recommendation, your resume. Um, I actually have a friend that's a videographer so when I was um, looking to interview I had her come in and record me teaching and she spliced up a really really impressive um, little video and so I sent that with along with my resume and other things things that you can leave with the principal so while they're looking at all of their candidates they can go oh that's right we yeah. remember her pictures really help too so we also have a portfolio that we put together when we interviewed at our elementary school we're teaching it now that we really think set us apart from the other candidates the portfolio was full of amazing things pictures and just ways that the principal and the interview board could remember us so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys pieces of our portfolio so maybe you can use it for your next interview so this is a template that I got from Pocketful of Primary, we'll link down below. But basically I just use it as a template to input a lot of information. But I started with my letters of recommendation, my resume, um, then I added a personal philosophy as long with my different tests, transcripts, those types of things, evaluations. Then I got into more in depth with classroom management ideas just because kinder, it, a lot of people look specifically for how you're going to manage behaviors. Here I have my classroom, more of my classroom, the systems I have in place, my classroom roles and behavior. Um, here I have different systems and routines that I have in place. And then I got more into lesson planning. So I have a lesson plan template as well as strategies I use. There's Kagan, Holborn Teaching, some differentiation ideas, assessments and technology. Um, I got into um, center work because that's important in kindergarten. Um, and miscellaneous documents were basically things that I just thought they should know coming from my background, how I plan, how I communicate with parents, how I involve parents. Um, here are the committees that we've served on. Here are just some of the bulletin boards that I've created as well as other influences that um, I take part in. Here is my teaching portfolio. This is just a template I had um, from when I made my maternity leave binder. Um, I just had about me teaching portfolio, just a section a little bit about me, my educational philosophy which I think is important, my evaluations from my previous principals and the years I had been teaching. Um, some just an idea of what my classroom looks like, how I structure it, some bolts and boards they would expect to see if I taught at their school. Um, some examples of engagement, I think that, that this could have led really well in an interview if I wanted to show the pictures. Um, some different elements of engagement I included and some different evidence of learning. Um, how I contributed to my school and community in different ways and letters of recommendation. All right, guys, we hope those interview tips and tricks really helped you nail your next dream job. Don't forget to send a nice follow-up email to the principal or the interview board, just thanking them for their time and how much you appreciate having the opportunity to interview. We really think it's a very professional way for them just to remember that you're still there and waiting for that call. We've also gotten a lot of messages with people asking for explicit questions that you might be given in an interview and how they might respond or how you should respond. If you would like to see a video on that, a little bit more detailed specifically on interview questions, please leave us a comment below. Other than that, please give this video a nice thumbs up. Make sure your bell notifications are turned on, that you're subscribed to see all of our upcoming videos, and we, we hope, hope to see you guys soon. soon.